Hello, my name is Mrs Fallie. What does GCSE art look like? Put simply, it's an extension of all that you have been learning in Key Stage 3 art, with more lesson time and more opportunities to learn new skills, techniques, experiment and be inspired by a broad range of different artists, the opportunity to respond in a personal and meaningful way. What will you study? We start with an introductory term, where students in Year 10 explore a range of artists with many tasks to build skills, experience and confidence within art. They will then move on to study a longer project based on identity and own surroundings. Where students explore portraiture as well as artistic ways to represent themselves, this could be through artwork related to objects of importance to them or parts of their environment. It could be even through designing and pattern, uh, using pattern work, reflecting something of their personality and passions. They are encouraged to develop a very personal end response while being initially guided and led through responding to a range of artists and techniques. All students will come up with their own very individual end results, final pieces. The main coursework project is introduced near the end of year 10. They are given a range of starting points to choose from. For example, reflections, different viewpoints, decay, etc. Students by this stage are far more proficient and confident in their artistic abilities and following the creative process to gain the best possible outcomes for their coursework grade. This project is worked on um, into year 11 and uh, it is marked as a whole for the whole of the coursework. Um, it becomes 60% of the GCSE grade. The final stage of the GCSE is the exam, or the official name is the Externally Set Assignment, which is issued by AQA in the January of Year 11. Then students will use their experience in successful completion of a project to independently produce a project in response to one of the starting points issued by AQA. This is exactly the same process that they will be very confident in by that stage of the course. They will produce all the preparatory work up until their exam days, where they will spend 10 hours spread over two school days working on their final outcomes for this project in exam conditions. This may seem daunting now in Year 9. However, you will be well prepared by that stage and will have experienced this in shorter time periods prior to the exam, day, exam days to ensure students are as prepared and confident as they can be. All preparatory work is with the student in those 10 hours and it is then submitted alongside their final response as per AQA guidelines. The exam project is worth 40% of the marks. Students studying art can include work from any media. This can be any 2D or 3D media, both traditional methods, experimental techniques and also working digitally. Where students have access to the technology, we have seen students creating amazing work in a variety of different apps and computer packages, as well as drawing digitally with iPads and packages like Procreate. They have also evidenced their work through the use of time-lapse videos, created animations and the like. Students can achieve through experimentation and a range of techniques and different materials too. They will gain confidence in their drawing abilities through a range of media, which isn't always purely traditional methods. All media is welcomed and encouraged within Art GCSE including the use of photography to gather their own reference images, all of which gain more marks for the students. Why choose art? Creativity is something that can be used in an array of jobs and other subjects that you may choose to study. It's what we call a transferable skill that encourages creative thinking, the ability to think outside the box and use initiative to generate and use new ideas. Often students find that having a creative outlet is hugely beneficial to them, as they begin to take some of their more academic subjects further, where they find more essay writing and exam questions fill their time. Think about which subjects you enjoy. Do you enjoy art? Do you draw, paint or sketch at home? With an art GCSE, you can incorporate some of your interests into your work in a way that was much more limited within your Key Stage 3 art projects. Please feel free to contact me with any further questions regarding taking art GCSE and I look forward to hopefully teaching many of you for GCSE next year.